This stretch of river in Victoria's southwest appears more like a series of stagnant pools where weeds choke a once flowing waterway. When you, know, you experience uh, scenes like this, you, you really do get a sense of a, a river being choked of life. It, um, it really is a poignant reminder to people who are advocating for the river and others that things are going south. The waterway is part of the Moorable River system, a vast catchment area that feeds urban water supplies in Geelong and Ballarat and private farm dams. These falls are at the heart of the Moorable River system. When the river is flowing, they're spectacular, but for up to eight months of the year, they can run dry. It's a powerful symbol of a system under increasing stress. It's now regarded as one of the most flow stressed, if not the most flow stressed in Victoria. Cameron Steele is part of a volunteer community group that's investigated how many new dams have been built here over the past decade. The group used an anonymised spreadsheet obtained from the regulator Southern Rural Water to compare the licences on record with private dams on Google Earth. They say they've identified dozens of potentially unauthorised dams that have been built or enlarged over the past decade. Farmers say back in the old days it was a free-for-all. If somebody wanted water, they dug a dam and there was no, no control over what dams were, were dug across the whole catchment. He says the river is the lifeblood of the area. Not having enough water for, for livestock, I think that's a very serious thing. But the needs of farms must be balanced with the environment. If you build another, say, five megalitre dam, that's another five megalitres that doesn't get to the river. So the, you, know, you think about that across, the, um, oh, I think it's a couple of hundred dams in the, in the Moorable catchment. Uh, it just, you know, we're talking about an awful lot of water that, um, that the river misses out on. But that's now getting out of control. They directly impact the amount of water that comes, that's allowed to flow into the, this river behind us. The ABC has investigated some of the largest dams found by the community group. This dam, southeast of Ballarat, holds almost double the amount of water that the property is licensed for. This one, further north, cropped up in the last two years and appears to have no licence at all. The owners of these dams declined to comment. To the west of that is another dam. It appears to hold more than triple what government records show it should, and the owners could not produce a licence for it. The owner of that property says they take the issues raised seriously and will investigate. All of these dams are on watercourses that feed the Moorable system and, by law, should have a licence. Together, the three dams hold enough water to fill around 400 Olympic swimming pools. Experts say the regulator needs to step up. If you want a free-for-all, um, you're going to see rivers die. Where you get a proliferation of unlicensed dams across a catchment, that can severely compromise the environment. Dr Koloff says he's seen issues in New South Wales similar to the problems outlined in the Victorian report. The growth in small to medium farm dams has not abated since um, farm dams were identified by Murray-Darling Basin Authority back in 2006 as a major risk to uh, inflows to river systems. Southern Rural Water is the authority tasked with policing the catchment. In a statement to the ABC, it says it's investigating all dams, the group found in its report. But experts fear the authority is asleep at the wheel. Their fundamental role in many ways is to manage the resource in the public interest, not just as a private resource for particular landowners. Southern Rural Water has powers under the Act to prosecute property owners who take water without a licence. Last year, it found 64 breaches of the Act, but it led to zero prosecutions. A lot of these dams are sort of out of sight, out of mind. You can't have all carrot and no stick. You need to have proper enforcement of the law. The community group is calling for a moratorium on new private dams until an investigation is completed. What the government does here really will set up the future for rivers across the state. In a statement, a Victorian government spokeswoman said it was aware of an ongoing investigation into the allegations and that it would be inappropriate to comment. 
Rachel Clayton, ABC News.